Well, the Warrior football team will begin practice again this week as they prepare for their New Year's Day showdown against the Georgia Bulldogs, but its head coach June Jones making headlines right now. Today, Jones finding out he's one of seven finalists for the Paul Bryant College Coach of the Year Award. The other six coaches are Frank Beamer of Virginia Tech, Sylvester Croom, Mississippi State, Mark Mangino of Kansas, LSU's Les Miles, Gary Pinkle from Missouri, and Illinois' Ron Zook. Jones led the Warriors to their first undefeated season and a berth in the Sugar Bowl. He did say it's an honor to be recognized amongst the top coaches in the country. The winner will be named on January 17th. And about an hour ago, UH said there may be more Sugar Bowl tickets available for season ticket holders this Tuesday. They'll know more for sure on Monday, and we'll keep you updated as we get more information. And we're gearing up to provide you with Hawaii's best and most complete coverage of the Warriors' greatest season. We have a number of specials airing right here on KHNL News 8 and also on our sister station, K5, as we get set to go bowling in New Orleans. If you think some people here are upset about Sugar Bowl tickets and travel gouging, you ought to see how some of the locals are taking it in Boise ever since last week when their beloved Broncos opted to pass on the Backyard Humanitarian Bowl played in Boise in favor of a trip to paradise in the wonderful Sheridan Hawaii Bowl. I will add the disclaimer that I am an advisory board member of this local bowl, but the fact that Boise State players decided they'd rather come back here than play in front of 30,000 fans at home, albeit a cold home, says a lot about what this bowl has accomplished in a relatively short period of time. And it says a lot that administration officials supported this vote in spite of the possible outcry by some in Idaho. Frankly, the Sheridan Hawaii Bowl has a lot to do with UH being in the position it is in this year, as UH teams have been magnificently showcased over the years in great Sheridan Hawaii Bowl games against the likes of Tulane, Houston, Alabama, Birmingham, and Arizona State. In its first five years, this bowl game has showcased many facets of Hawaii at holiday time and has given our team a postseason place to play with kudos and comments from visiting fans and teams almost unanimous in their praise. It is a well done week of events plus football. That makes it all the more important for local fans to support the game again on December 23rd when Boise State, a class act, comes to town to meet the high-powered Pirates of East Carolina. It's good for the state, it is good for the economy, it's good for your family, and it's good for our own University of Hawaii team to make sure we all support this game. After all, we can't assume a BCS berth every year now, can we? Think about it. everybody let's talk sports first Colt now June as we first reported on Sunday UH Warrior football coach June Jones has been named one of seven finalists for the Paul Bear Bryant coach of the year award the Heisman for guys with headsets so to speak the list of finalists include Mark Mangino of Kansas LSU's Les Miles and Illinois Ron Zook the winner will be voted on by the National Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association and announced January 17th in Houston Jones and the unbeaten Warriors are getting back to practice tomorrow in preparation for the Sugar Bowl against Georgia, New Year's Day. To no surprise, UH head football coach June Jones today named one of seven finalists for college football's Paul Bear Bryant Award given annually to the National Coach of the Year. Warriors are whack champ, Sugar Bowl bound to play Georgia on New Year's night and the only unbeaten team in the country. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Great honor for June Jones, but with all the excitement surrounding the UH football team right now, something has him ticked off. ESPN, the magazine, in its issue due out December 17th, is a full-page ad representing a letter to Santa Claus, written on UH stationery and signed by Jones. Thing is, he did not write it. Letter reads like Jones is knocking the BCS system, dissing LSU and Ohio State, calling for a playoff, and wondering why Hawaii's not playing for the national title. Also plays out like he's sending the letter out to some brand name schools. Talk with Jones, he's not happy, and he's asked his agent to look into it. Colt Brennan was named the finalist for college football's most prestigious award in the Heisman. Now the same can be said for June Jones in the coaching ranks. Jones is one of seven finalists left in the running for the 2007 Paul Bear Bryant College Coach of the Year Award. The others are Frank Beamer of Virginia Tech, Sylvester Croom of Mississippi State, Mark Magino of Kansas, Les Miles of LSU, Gary Pinko of Missouri, and Ron Zook of Illinois. The award is voted on by national sportscaster and sports 
Writers Association. And in 1999, Jones was the National Coach of the Year honors by CNN and Sports Illustrated. As the only head coach of a perfect season, Jones has been said after this, being a finalist, it is truly an honor to be recognized. I was lucky to grow up during that era. Bear was not only a legend, but a real man. The winner will be announced at a dinner in Houston on January 17th. Keep in mind, KGME 9, the home of the June Jones Show, has you covered for the Sugar Bowl win. Hawaii meets Georgia. We'll have reports from New Orleans.